Hi and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this video we're going to be creating our controller class which is going to allow us to test our queue and do some things with it. The first thing we have to think about is what are we going to want to do with the queue? There are a few things that we want to do which is add new nodes and as we remember from the previous controller class we have a method called ask node then we want to be able to remove the last node which I'm going to call here because we're doing like a call center type of program I'm going to call it um, forward person and this is going to essentially remove the first person in the queue or the last one in our programming um, and just forward it to the next person in the phone or whatever. I'm not sure what happens with that, but we're going to essentially remove the last person in this queue and find. And then I also want a method from here, which is private void print details. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. This is simply going to let us uh, print the details of a given node. Remember that the nodes in this project were students and now they are not, so we have to change those to um, get phone and get name. What's it called, get phone? It was get phone, but I made a spelling mistake here. That C should not be there. So we save that and the error disappears. Okay, so ask node forward person and find forward person is simply going to remove a person. So here we want to pop but we don't know where to pop from. Remember we still have to create the list or the queue. Like there. And ask node is going to be really similar to what we had in our previous one. I'm going to copy it over and then I'm going to change some things. So we ask the user for customer details. We create a new node and then we give it to the queues push method. Okay, so enter the customer name, enter the customer phone number, move that, remove that, change that to phone. I'm essentially just changing some things. Change this to customers, change add to list to push, as we know. Change metric to phone. And there we have it. This is pretty much all the information we needed. The customer name, the phone number. And then we simply push that onto the list. Forward person is going to remove a person and find is just going to be the same thing as the controller. Find is going to ask the user for the name of the student or the customer and then call the queues find method with this name. So copy that, paste it here, change that to customer, change that to queue, and ch not change that. Enter the customer name to find. Customers of find, there we go. Okay, so there we have it. I'm of course going to re-explain this really quickly here. So we have ask node, which is going to add a new customer to the queue, and it's simply going to ask us for the customer name and the customer phone number. And then it's going to create a new node and give it to the push method that we created in our queue that as we know is going to add a new node at the beginning of the queue. Forward person is going to call the pop method of our queue, which is going to remove the last person of the queue. This is simply so that we can um, remove the last person and just uh, hand it over. Find is going to find a node in the queue and then it's going to print the details out. Okay, so let's see if we can make something happen here in the main method. Remember that the main method is static. The customer's uh, object is part of the controller object, not of the class. So we have to create 
the new controller and then we can do C dot ask node C dot ask node um C dot pop forgot that semicolon. Um this is not called pop, it's called forward person. Okay, so here we are gonna add a node, add another node, forward person, and then C dot find. Let's see what happens here. Let's press play. Okay, so we enter the customer name. Let's put my name, customer phone number, that, new customer name, customer phone number, that. Now we're going to find a customer. Remember, we've called forward person in the middle. The first element we added was me. Then we added Hillary. So the first person to leave when we pop something is going to be me. Let's try to find me. And there we have it. Let's try to play again. And there we have it. Seems that our print details method was still displaying matriculation number. So that's that. So the pop method is working, is removing the last element of the queue. Find is working fine. Ask node is working fine. And that's it. One thing that would be brilliant is to not be limited by being able to call it twice or once or once here. This is creating like a menu. And we're going to be doing this in the very next video. We're going to continue with the controller. We're going to create a menu and let the user add nodes, remove nodes, find people, or quit the program as he chooses. So stick with me. Let's go into the very next video. And quickly, we're going to explain how to create a menu. So I'll see you there.